Hi lovely reception children, it's Miss Swan here with another maths video for you. So we're carrying on with our maths learning this week, learning about a type of measure called height. Height. I want you to have a little think from yesterday. What is height a measure of? I'm going to give you a little clue. Fantastic. So height is the measure of how tall an object is. Okay, so can you say that with me? How tall? How tall? Lovely. And when I say an object, I mean a thing or a could be a person as well. OK, or an animal, something like that. So we have been looking at how tall something is. Now, I was saying yesterday, it's really important that you make sure whatever you're measuring is like this. OK, height has to be like this. Let's get our star words back in our heads. OK, so we need measure height. Tall, short, taller, shorter, tallest, shortest. Fantastic. So our two key questions, we are going to be comparing two objects today. So we want to have a look. We're going to use our eyes to do looking. We are going to first of all decide which object is shorter and which object is taller. And then I want to know, how do you know? So which one is taller, which one is shorter? How do we know? So we're thinking about our explanations and trying to use our extended sentences, lovely. So yesterday we looked at tall and short. Remember, you could always go and watch that video back, always go and watch it back. Today, we're gonna look at taller and shorter, okay? so. For today, we're going to be looking at two objects at a time. OK, so I'm going to start off with my highlighter again. So we know the highlighter type of pen and I've got a glue stick. Oh, you might be able to tell me what 3D shape that is while we're here. Well done, it's a cylinder. OK, so... This one's a bit harder to tell. It doesn't look exactly like one of our 3D shapes. So I've got my two objects. I've got my pen and I've got my glue stick. It's got a little alien on. I thought you might like that. Now, when we're looking at taller and shorter, it's got the er uh on the end. Taller, shorter. OK, so those are the words that you need to use if you're comparing two objects. OK, so you're looking at them and you're thinking one's got to be taller One's got to be shorter, OK? And that's what we're doing today. So we have got the pen and we have got the glue stick. So straight away, I'll just put my hands like that just so you can see because of my dress. Straight away, you probably be able to tell me. So taller is the word that we give to the object, which is the most tall. So it's height. It goes up higher or taller. So it's got more height, OK? So from the base to the top, is higher or taller and then the shorter object it doesn't go up as high okay so it's not got as much height okay it's shorter lovely so having a look I want you to point okay which one do you think is shorter lovely so the glue is shorter so we say the glue is shorter lovely and then if we know that one and you tell me which object is taller? Fantastic. The pen is taller. Now I'm going to make that even more clearer to you by just putting them really close to each other so you can see that the glue stick, it's got this space here that's not as tall as the pen. OK, so it doesn't come up as high or as tall. And the pen comes up taller, so it's got all of this extra um, material in the pen that the glue doesn't have. OK, so we can say then the pen is taller than the glue stick. Can you say that? The pen is taller than the glue stick. Lovely. And then I can swap it around so I can do it the other way. I can talk about the shorter object first. So I can say the glue stick is shorter than the pen. Can you say that? The glue stick is shorter than the pen. 
Lovely. So that's comparing. I'm looking at them at the same time and I'm describing their height. OK, how tall they are. So one of them is taller. One of them is shorter. The pen is taller than the glue stick. The glue stick is shorter than the pen. OK, lovely. So you might want to pause this video here and go and find two objects in your house that you want to compare. Make sure that they're objects that you're going to look at this way. OK, and then I want you to just place them next to each other and decide, compare and describe their height. OK, so I want you to tell me which one is taller and which one is shorter. Lovely. So you should have your two objects. OK, now we can tell by looking. OK, and that's quite easy to do just by looking. We can see there's all of this space here. Now, what's really going to extend our learning is measuring. So we can ask the question, how tall is something? OK, so how do we know that the pen is taller than the glue stick? How do we know that the glue stick is shorter than the pen? So we're going to do what we did yesterday and use our non-standard measure. So we were using cubes. I had made my Lego towers. So I don't have any Lego in my house, but I made a little piece of paper to look like Lego. But if you've got real Lego in your house or Duplo or cubes, any type of building blocks, things that you can stack that are the same, then that's perfect for measuring. OK, and we had a, had a chat about the ruler yesterday and that's what most adults use. But for children, we tend to move on to the ruler when we get to year one. OK, so if you found this really easy, you might want to try later with the ruler. But for our learning today, we're going to use the cubes. OK, so for this one here, when I want to talk about how tall my objects are so I can help my explanation of comparing them, I can use my towers. OK, now we measured the um, pen yesterday. So I had my, oh, it was this one, wasn't it? So I had my tower of cubes and it's important that you're making sure that the object is on a surface. It might be a table, it might be the floor, both your objects are there together and you're going to make a tower, build a tower that goes, it's the same height as your object. So it goes from the base of the object all the way to the top. OK, and then when we count them, we're going to count the top of each um block. Now, it's important to count the top because when you do move on to using a ruler, you count the top of the, um, the lines. OK, so this is going to help you for when you go into the next step. So I'm going to count them because I want to know how many cubes tall. Oh, how many cubes tall is my pen? So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. OK, so I can say the pen is 11 cubes tall. Can you say that? The pen is 11 cubes tall. Lovely. OK, so I know that one is 11. I'm just going to put that down there and then oh, let's keep falling over today. Then I'm going to make another tower. So I keep this one here. OK, and I'm going to make another tower to measure how tall my other object is, my glue stick. OK, because remember, we're comparing them today. So I can count again. Remember, I'm counting the top of each cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. OK, so the glue stick is eight cubes tall. Can you say that? The glue stick is eight cubes tall. Lovely. So now what I can do is now I know that the pen is 11 cubes tall. Let me move them back so you can see is 11 cubes tall and my glue stick is eight cubes tall. Because of what I know about my numbers, I can use that in my explanation. OK, so I can say I know that the glue stick, that the I know that the pen is taller than the glue sticks because 11 cubes is more than eight cubes. So I know that the pen is taller because it takes more cubes to make it. Then if I look at the glue stick, I can say that 